what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The superintendent at Alito School District in Texas says they have disciplined students from their Daniel Knight grade campus for auction of black people as slaves. Yeah. They were on Snapchat. I mean, just going public with it like the good old days. Auctioning off black students for 100 bucks and as little as $1. I mean, it's just having a grand old time. Superintendent says that they have, there's no place for racism and discrimination at any of their schools. I disagree. Obviously there is for that to have been something like this happen. Yeah. You see, it all starts at home. This wasn't one student, it wasn't two. It was a gang of them. And those are just the ones who participated in this little exercise. They are obsessed with blacks. They're just obsessed with black folks. And they love that slavery thing so much. They really wanted to come back. Fam, I want you to pay attention to this. It's happening way too frequently. There's been cases where there's been schools where they go on a, a field trip and they got the black kids picking cotton. You got students that get real mad and they take to the internet and they say, I wish that slavery was back. I wish we still had slavery. Should have never let them free. Let me tell you something, fam. Don't think for one moment if these savage motherfuckers couldn't do it, that they would not do it. If they could figure out a way to bring slavery back, they do it like this. You better stop running around here playing and just partying and bullshitting and thinking everything is funny. Man, these people out here is plotting to kill you, fool. Kill your babies. Want you out of here. Want you to be slaves. Want your babies to be slaves. What are you going to do about it? Better stop taking your freedom for granted. Stop taking the power that you have, that untapped power and potential that you have for granted. This never forget. It should be a daily exercise for all black people. Never forget. Anything they try, any little slick shit, you got to be on it. Because I'm telling you, fam, it could happen. If it could happen once, it could happen again. Do you think that the black people that they enslaved hundreds of years ago ever thought for one moment that some group of savages would come into their homeland and kidnap them and take them to a foreign land, never to return home again, to murder them, to slaughter them, to rape them and their children, Raping boys and girls. Stripping them of their names, their culture, their heritage, their language. Selling them off to foreign places. Man, you don't know what. It's just family all over the place. And then they got the nerve to try to blame black folks exclusively for coming from a broken home. This is what they do. Start chaos, then play the victim or the savior. You got to watch them, fam. 
This little exercise that they did is not a game, fam. It's a precursor to what could happen if you don't wake the fuck up. It's why you can't just be sending your kids to college and hoping that they hire your child. They don't like you or your kids. So if they hire them, they're gonna hire them at their own discretion. And more than likely, it's gonna take them double, triple the time to get a promotion that it would take somebody that was less qualified. They got some people in this country that are in powerful positions and that are going to be in powerful positions someday that hate our guts. You gotta go out there and take them positions from them. Yeah. They tried it, fam. And they're gonna keep on trying it because they're obsessed. They're obsessed with black folks. Some of them, they can't even live, fam. They can't breathe without oppression, without racism. That's all they got. Self-esteem, low as the flow. Can't go no more, just low. Nothing without it. They look into the mirror, hate themselves. Boy, but if they can just inject some, some blackness in there, oh man, it's like, it get them some type of energy. It's like spinach to Popeye. They love black people's culture. They love what we can do. Love our talents. Our intelligence. And they do. They know we're very intelligent. But they try to use it when they can and then minimize it when they can't. Yeah. Fam. Stay diligent. Stop taking your freedom and your power for granted. Go to work because these uncivilized mutts are working every single day. They go to bed and they wake up with you and your loved ones on their mind. How can they circumvent justice? How can they prevent you from just existing. Whoever came up with the idea to have this so-called mock auction of human beings, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled that. No more talk. What the talking about?